It's only right since we're talking about mochas. What's up everybody, it's Dan from the Deadstock HDX. We're gonna be talking about <clears throat> these three shoes right here. We got the Mocha, the Court Purple, and the Royal Toe. Before we start things off on these Mocha ones, guys, um, I just wanted to remind everybody that once we hit a thousand subscribers, we will be doing a giveaway for a pair of shoes. Um, so if you guys enjoy this video, please make sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. First and foremost, we gotta welcome the newcomer. So let's do a 60 second review on the Mocha one starting now. All right, y'all, 60 second review starting now. Let's start with the color paneling. This does have the um, black toe one kind of color blocking. Uh, I believe the black toe one is black over here on the collar. But coming to the toe here, you do have black leather going all around with white on the toe. The leather here isn't anything too special. It's just typical of the recent Jordan 1 releases. And then of course on the back, you do have that dark mocha or brown colorway. Um, the shoe has gotten a lot of hype thanks to the Travis Scott 1. The suede back here, I honestly thought it'd be a little better quality, like a little more color change to it, a little bit furry or fuzzy. But this is still pretty good. Um, they did a good job with this. Obviously that goes all the way around. Black swoosh. The white color paneling you see here, that's actually not a pure white. That's an off-white or kind of like cream white colorway. I'll bring in the court purple to show you guys a comparison. The court purple is a pure white and then the mocha is kind of like an off-white. Coming to the outsole of the shoe, black, nothing special there. Um, it does come with black laces and also a set of cream laces that matches this color paneling. The uh, tab right here on the tongue is just black and white Nike Air. And then you got the lateral side here. That's kind of the same thing. Same thing going on here. So nothing too crazy, but I could see why people think this is Jordan 1 of the year or even Jordan of the year. So before we get into like the whole core purple and royal toe thing, um, I just wanted to mention, I do have a 9 and 9.5 and in these. Um, they both are sold already. Sal and I did want a personal pair, but we're both size 10. Um, so they do fit a little tight, so we decided to just sell them. I think I'm going to regret that. I've been I've been buying a lot of personals recently, but I think letting this one go is going to is gonna hurt pretty bad in the future. You guys let me know. What do you guys think is the Jordan 1 of the year? I have my answer, and it's this right here, the court purple one. I love purple so you can't go wrong with this in my opinion i missed out on the 1.0 and the price is just way too high right now so i'm, I'm not going to spend that much on a 1.0 but these 2.0s got the chicago color blocking like this to me is the jordan one of the year and i think a lot of people would uh not agree with that because there are at least a solid three other jordan ones that are in that conversation speaking of which the royal toe ones a lot of people think prices would jump in these but there have been a couple of restocks recently so they still kind of they're still kind of hanging around but this has the the filled toe kind of um color paneling on this one y'all let me know which one do you think is better you got royal toe and mocha and then you got court purple or mocha i gotta rock with the court purple it's my second favorite color is purple so i think that's my answer all right y'all that's pretty much it for the review i'm about to head home right now take care of some stuff and then we're gonna go sell the mochas and hopefully record all that for you so i'm on my way to sell these mochas and you know yeah uh i was speeding in a school zone i uh should have been more aware i wasn't speeding much but a couple miles per hour over but it'd be like that we're not gonna let that ruin our day we're gonna go ahead and make this sale go to the gym get a workout in go home shower and then get this uh get this video edited and just go on with our day so um thank you guys for tuning in i'm just waiting for uh my man to pull up right now and uh, we'll, we'll get these bad boys sold. I got the shoes over here on this side for you. There's a nine right there. And then uh, there's the nine and a half. You can check them both out. Uh, these, those are my core purples and royal toes. Oh. Uh, I'm holding them, but if the price is right, I'll let them go. What's the plan with these? You're gonna sell them, uh, uh, hold them. Hold on to them, yeah. yeah. No, that's a good idea. I think by like next fall, they'll be 500 easy. It hurts letting them go. I wanted a personal pair too. But. What's the name? Oh, you can put Dan. Just yep, that's right. Yeah. You can do a 720 on him. Easy yeah. business as usual. Thank you so much. You want to take a uh, photo so I can shout you out on Instagram? Oh, uh, sure, yeah. Yeah, let's do it. All right, y'all, there we go. Mochas have been sold for 720. Um, 
not too bad there not too bad uh it is a decent hold if anybody's interested in buying mochas i think it's a good hold it'll be like 500 by next year uh the only thing is i feel like prices are gonna dip a little bit more i just don't see them staying where they are right now uh, they'll probably dip a little bit down to 300 i feel like maybe a little less um again guys thank you so much for tuning in to this video uh, make sure you follow us on instagram at the dshtx and then make sure you subscribe and like this video if you want to enter that giveaway we'll be giving away a free pair of shoes soon so thank you guys again so much and uh, i'll see you on the next video